Now, matagal ko nang gusto ng gawa ng video yung problem na to. But, uh, ngayon lang talaga ako merong time. So, uh, for the beam shown daw, determine the deflection at C using superposition method. Ayan. Uh, assume din, EI is constant. Now, in problems where beams are symmetrical, but this is exclusively for simply supported beams, kasi kapag cantilever, hindi naman magmamatter kapag symmetrical, merong technique na magagamit natin to solve the maximum deflection. Uh, take note lang, this is only applicable for the maximum deflection. Now, if the loading is symmetrical sa simply supported beam, then the maximum deflection will occur dito sa mid-span, naturally. So, kung idodraw natin yung elastic curve, parang ganto siya. Ayan. So, the maximum deflection is located at point C. So, copy na lang natin. Then, uh, flip horizontal. Ayan. Para symmetrical talaga. So, kapag ito yung elastic curve, diba, what we know already is that the slope of the tangent line at the minimum point or maximum point, if apart yung loading, would be equal to zero. So, knowing that, we can draw a tangent line here. Ayan. This is the tangent line at the lowest point. So, ito yung deflection at C. Deflection at C. So, the slope of the tangent line here is equal to zero. Now, recall that for fixed supports, di ba zero din yung slope at the fixed support. So, therefore, sa point na to, we can assume fixity. Ayan. Uh, again, just recall na kapag meron tayong cantilever beam, ayan, let's say merong load dyan, so magiging ganito yung elastic curve. Ayan. So, if this is the elastic curve, di ba yung tangent line at this particular point is equal to zero. Slope equals zero. So, ito yung reference ng concept na we can use superposition para mas mapadali natin yung problem. So, since zero yung slope dyan, we can make it fixed. Ayan, draw tayo ng line dyan. Aligned to point C. Gagawin natin fixed. So, ngayon, ikakapi natin yung elastic curve. So, makikita nyo naman na para siyang cantilever beam, which has already deflected upward. di ba? Now, I hope na agree lang kayo that if this is the deflection at C, then if I will draw a line here, ayan, going to point A, diba, this is also equal to the deflection deflection at C. Ayan, equivalent lang sila. So, ngayon, this deflection at C is essentially just equal to the deflection at A considering this cantilever beam. So, palitan na lang natin. Uh, deflection at A, then, equate natin sa deflection at C. Equal lang silang dalawa. Now, ilalagay natin yung loadings for the reactions of the beam, automatic na. Symmetrical yung loading, so, add na lang natin lahat. We have 100 plus dalawang 50. So, we would get 200. 200 yung resultant reaction, and then since symmetrical yung loading, this will act at the center, yung resultant niya. Dividing this by 2, the reactions uh, dito sa A saka E would be equal to 100 kN. So, 100 kN saka dito rin, by symmetry. Ayan. So, ilalagay natin yung load dyan. We have 100 kN. Tas ito naman, 50 kN acting downward. Ayan. 50 km. Then, itong 100 kN, meron kang option na isusulat mo or hindi na lang. But, if you are to write the 100 kN load, then makikita mo mamaya na hindi lang siya magbamatter sa solution natin. So, we have 100 kN. Ayan. Now, Let's try to solve the deflection at A. Now, for the deflection at A, we can apply two formulas. Yung PL cubed over 3EI and also Pato 3 La over 6EI. Itong dalawa. 
uh, di ba kapag meron kang cantilever beam, then merong point load dito sa dulo, ayan, P, then the maximum deflection, or essentially the deflection at the free end, this would be equal to PL cubed divided by 3EI. Then kapag ano naman, point load na hindi applied sa dulo, let's say ganyan, and then this is at a distance A from the fixed support, then the maximum deflection at the free end would be equal to PA squared 3L minus A, then divided by 6EI. Ayan. Now, instead of memorizing this one, you can also use pato 3 la sa lahat ng loads na yan. But again, since we are trying to minimize what we input in our calculators, it's best to memorize also this formula since common loading naman yan sa board exam. So, deflection at A, ito muna yung titingnan natin. We have 100 kN causing an upward deflection. So, we can use a positive sign for that. Now, nasa pinakadulo yan. So, we have... Uh, we can apply PL cubed divided by 3EI. Then for this 50 kN load, this is acting downward, so we can use minus. So we have pato 3 la, so PA squared 3L minus A divided by 6EI. Ayan. Now for the 100 kN load, notice na if you will plug it into this formula, then the value of A or the distance of the load from the fixed support would be equal to zero. So kapag zero yan, automatic wala siyang deflection na makukos dito sa free end. So again, yung 100 kN or the loading at the center may be excluded. So we would now have deflection at A equals the value of P uh, dito sa reaction is 100 kN. Then our total length is 3 plus 2.4 which is uh, yung total length na yan is 5.4 meters ayan then just note the distances so 5.4 cube divided by 3 AI then minus P is equal to 50 ayan then ano yung A yung A is not 2.4 again in this formula, the distance A is measured from the fixed support. So, ito yung fixed support, meaning the distance going to the 50 kN load is equal to 3 meters. So, times 3 squared, then we have 3L minus A. So, the length is still 5.4 meters, then minus A, 3, then divided by... Uh, 6EI Ayan So input mo na lang sa calculator We have 100 Times 5.4 Cube Divided by 3 Just disregard EI since this is constant Then minus 50 Times uh, 3 squared Multiplied by 3 Times 5.4 Minus 3 Then divided by 6 Press equals we would get 4258.8 so this is kn m cubed divided by ei ayan this is already the maximum deflection because this is also equal to the deflection at c at which the maximum deflection occurs ayan so box na lang natin so again you can apply the same concept if, uh, let's say, merong uniform loading dyan, ayan, kapag merong uniform loading, you can still split the beam into two, or, as uh, I mean, split the beam in half, and then just analyze half of the beam. Ayan, pwede yan. Kahit ano pa yung figure, as long as symmetrical. Pwede rin siyang maging symmetrical if we have two triangular loads. So, usually, sa books, merong ganitong example. Uh, teka lang ha. Let's say, merong beam, then, baga niyan, merong triangular load, then this is the mid-span, tapos meron ding triangular load dyan. Ayan. Let's say, this is simply supported. Yung gagawin mo lang is still, split the beam in half, 
then analyze one portion. So, draw mo yan as fixed, then draw the elastic curve, tapos meron kang triangular loading. Now, instead of drawing it na naka-curve, you could also just draw a horizontal line, then ilagay mo na lang yung triangular load. Ayan. Triangular load, then also place the reaction. Ayan. So, just calculate the deflection at this point. Yan na din yung maximum deflection sa mid-span. Ayan. Ay, hindi ko na lang isusolve. As long as you know the process and concept, then you can solve any beam that is symmetrical. So, I hope nakatulong yan. And then, perhaps this is also helpful sa review subjects nyo sa kasa board exam. If ever there are questions na uh, symmetrical lang yung beam, then maybe you forgot the superposition formula for that. You can always use this one. So, pag check natin yan sa application, ayan, we have 4258.8. So, same talaga. Uh, up to the last decimal place. Thank you.